Hey guys, Wolfman here. Today guys, I'm going to be doing a review on the iPod Touch first generation. And as you have noticed, or if you haven't noticed, um, I have did an unboxing of it and a very tiny review back in August 2015. But I didn't really do a very good review. So I think I'm going to redo it again and show you a lot more about it and talk about it more. So first... Um, so here it is, you have uh, on the front, you have a black 3.5 inch display, non-retina, it's uh, one of those Apple displays. Um, one sec, let me get focus. Hopefully that should be better. Here's the side, as you can see. It's kind of a blocky design, but I, I like it. It is pretty nice. There's the, on the, so we're at the top, the lock button, which is on the left side, the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth antenna, the other side has nothing on it, the bottom, headphone jack, and the 30 pin connector, dock connector, and there's nothing there, as you can see, there's no volume rockers, because this does not have an internal speaker, so on the back, as you can see, a lot of this is a, the, one of those chrome finishes, as you can see, it's all scratched up, so these don't don't look good. Second, you take them out of the box, boom, scratched. As you can see, it says Apple or iPod. You can see me. Um, it is an eight gigabyte. You can see it's pretty hard to see. So let's go on. As you can see, there's the black chippy border around the screen. See there's a few chips there. So let's go and turn it on. As you can see here's the lock screen. We have the time, the date, the iPod, Wi-Fi, the lock thing to show that it's locked, and the battery. If you want to see my wallpaper, here it is. As you can see there it is. Just one of those old ones that I really like. Let me just go plug in this. As you can hear that sound. It doesn't have the speaker in it. I really do like the the what's it called? That wallpaper. As you can see, it's the old slides to unlock. It doesn't have that little camera thing. So let's just go and do it. As you can hear the that clicky sound. Oh. And if you're wondering, I have to keep it plugged in because the battery is really bad in this. So as you can see. Oh, like a non-prepared video. As you can see, there it is. So we have a few apps. The rest are on this page. So first, let's go into the... show you what OS is running on here. Go edit. So let's go now. Um, sorry, guys. Then... One second. As you can see, I'm covering up the serial number. It's the 8 gigabyte, like I said, and it is running iPhone OS 3.1.3. I just didn't want to show it. Um, as you can see, there's not really much in here. I'll show you all the old wallpapers. As you can see, there's the one I picked. Default one is this one. As you can see, they have Mo Mona Lisa, this dot one, this apple, this one they still have. Um, I don't know if they removed it in iOS 9, because I don't run iOS 9 on any of my devices. So they have 28 wallpapers to choose from. So let's just go back. You can see network, where you put in your Wi-Fi and VPN configurations. But there's Wi-Fi right there, notifications, brightness, general music, photos, video store, mails, contacts, calendar, and safari. So let's so the first app is Safari. It's not really good because it doesn't really render pages that well, so we have time so I won't show you it. We have calendar right here. can see pretty nice calendar next 
is male. Oops, on that. Okay, so you can put in whatever you need to do. Microsoft Mobile, Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, or other. Next game, we have a game called Extreme Jeep. It's a pretty fun game. Oops. Then we just have stocks. You can see Apple's doing good today. Google's down. Next up is Air Hockey. Can see there is. Next we have Google Maps. See Google. And then we have weather. Oops. We have App Store. It still loads properly, which is a good thing. We have clock. We have world clock. Alarm. Stopwatch and timer. So let's go back to the home. And I already showed you settings. We have music, which, or we have spotlight here. You can see. It makes that thing when you type. Oops. So let's go into whoops. Go into uh, music, which is called iPod. I I made a shortcut so you can do it by double tapping the home button. You can see see all the music. Or we have this game called Coin Flip. It's like heads or tails. You can see tap it and it flips. See it's a heads. Videos has nothing on it. Photos, no photos. Here we have iTunes, which doesn't really load properly. Every time it loads, it will just crash. But you get the idea. It's the old iTunes. We have the the famous, well, not real famous, but a lot of people don't like the YouTube app. But I I, I think it was cool. As you can see, it's not supported anymore. There's contacts. We have a game called App Creator. You just do that. It's just easy since you do that. It's pretty cool. We have, oops, we have calculator. that so let's go home last we have notes and they pretty much look the same if you're running iOS 6 you'll be pretty familiar so now I'll tell you about like it's pro as you can see the power button doesn't really work that well so now I'll tell you about the the processor and stuff so it is has a 412 megahertz ARM 11 processor with 128 megabytes of RAM, and it's it's the speed's okay, but it's not snappy or quick or fast. It's pretty acceptable for a uh, how old is this nine year old device? So you can't expect it to be snappy like the iPhone 6s. Well, that, thank you for watching this, for watching my, um, review of the iPod Touch first generation 8 gigabyte. If you like more, if you want more videos of reviewing of Apple products, make sure you leave a, li drop a like. And if you have any, um, other video suggestions, just leave me a comment and I will do the video. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye.